hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be making mustard fried chicken yeah you heard me mustard fried chicken i won't stop no 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 i won't stop i won't stop i won't stop no 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 i won't stop i won't stop so guys, I've been seeing this recipe going round, mustard fried chicken. I was like, what? Mustard fried chicken? Surely not. But you know what? <laughs> kind of looked appealing, so I said, yeah, man, let me try. All the ingredients that I use, I will leave it in the description box for you. Once you get all your seasoning on that chicken, just go ahead and don't be scared. Put your gloves on like I did and just rub it in. Make sure you get that mustard all up. Now, if you're not a mustard fan, leave this recipe alone. Well, I do think that if you're not a mustard fan, you would not still be here. So the fact that you're still here, you must be a fan of mustard. Now, once I've seasoned it, now you can leave it covered in the fridge for about 24 hours you know what i was hungry i left it for one i'm just going ahead now with some seasoned flour again recipe for the seasoned flour will be in the description box now when i'm frying chicken i do like to use the flour in a bag just because you know as you can see i can squeeze it i can just pack that flour that coating in like you know I can't really get that effect when I do it in an open dish so I always like to put it in a bag. When you're ready to put it in your fryer or your oil make sure when you take it out you give it a good old knock just to get away the excess flour of you know nobody don't want to be eating pure flour like yeah nah it not gonna happen not around here. So fry your chicken on about 170 degrees for about 12 minutes you may want to go 14 15 depending on the size of your chicken the chicken i'm using is relatively small it's only a little titsy medium chicken so you know what that's what i'll fry it on but you know what check your chicken just to make sure it's cooked through before you shove it in your gob don't do it mm -mm. not do it not do it not do it and my chicken was kind of sticking to the this basket a little bit so you know what i had a little bit of trouble getting the chicken off of it but you know what where there's a will there's a way and this is what it looks like it didn't have that much coating on it but you know what maybe because i took the skin off but i do like to take the skin off a chicken when i'm frying it but you know what that served me well so in a bowl now i'm just making a little bit of sauce to go in it so i've got two tablespoons of mustard two tablespoons of honey i've gone in with two tablespoons of sriracha and i'm going to go in with two tablespoons of mayonnaise and i'm just going to give it a good old mix i don't know why i tried to mix this with a spoon it didn't work don't follow me and mix it with a spoon get yourself a fork or a whisk you know what sometimes when you're in the kitchen you just use anything that your hand can go on but yeah it's certain certain things you need the right tools for it so yeah i had to end up getting a fork just to make sure you know what there's no bits and clumps as you can see going on there but nobody don't want to eat none of that well i don't i don't about you but i don't Now I must say, the chicken wasn't bad. First time for me it wasn't bad, but I'm telling you, see the sauce on the chicken, it just took it to a whole different level. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and as much as I enjoyed eating that chicken, you should try it. If you're a mustard fan, it was that good. Thank you so much for coming back. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe to my channel for, for, for more recipes. Follow me on Instagram at Shell's Homestyle Kitchen. And don't forget, aim high, work hard because the sky's the limit and only you can limit yourself.